Welcome back to Fox 2 News at 9 a.m. We're at the Neon Museum, Museum and Deborah is the founder. Thank you so much for having us Thank in. Thank you for coming in today. So a little history on neon. Uh, you were mentioning that it has, neon is a gas and it's red and there's also another color gas. We have argon gas that we also use as a blue gas and we use some mercury in those to get the gas to light up with the low burning mercury vapor acts as a conductor. So that's what's in the tube. And to get the different colors, you actually have to color the tube, right? The tubes come with a powder coating of phosphorescent inside, and that's what gives it its color. And what are you doing right now? Right now, I'm just hitting it with some voltage of an electric zapper so that we can light it up without having to hook it up to a transformer. Now, and I could check the tubes this way. Now, if you see a neon sign where there's like a letter or a number out, that usually means there's like a, a leak in it? Once the glass breaks and the gas escapes, you can't relight it. Mm. So it has to either be repaired or remade. This is one of your favorite pieces, the, the park sign back here above us. That's a new, fairly new, isn't it? That's a new piece. It was designed by the uh, um, Obata architecture firm in the 80s um, at, for the parking at Grand Center. And there were four groupings of color. We got the orange set from the Cranford Art Foundation. This piece has just been put up in the last two weeks and restored to what you see. And we're pretty excited about the way it uh, sparkles in here. Yeah, it does. It sparkles nicely. Now you're a, you're a glass artist by trade. I but am. Glass and neon together, they kind of kind of work hand in hand. Yeah, I'm a sculptor, and I just love to use different materials. And neon seems like the icing on the cake for a lot of my work. Yeah, we got a lot of yours here, including this one on the wall here. It's got a little texture right here. Is that yours? And my work, I like to do what we call drawing in space. So all the squiggles and you know, we deliver. And if you go over um, all the hanging pieces, they're um, quote unquote chandeliers. And they're displayed on um, these. They're hanging there. They're hanging there for all to see and lit up. Yeah, so we can either hang them here. This is Bertha. Her name is Lady. She's very oh, they got names. Yeah, over here we have Diva and Gorgeous and Darling. Um, they have got, they've got names, they've got light, and you've got to come check them out. It is the Neon Museum. They're open the second and fourth week of each month on Wednesdays and Saturdays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So come on and check it out. If you have not been here, you need to see it. It's growing all the time including a huge piece that's coming soon. That's a little tease coming up. It's Fox 2 News, 9 a.m.